real world tools. So now we're going to jump into our demo platform. When you book a, pla a training session on our cloud platform, this is the first screen you see. <coughs> we're going to hit start training. What you're going to see in this screen and what you're seeing happening, this is a live stream of your trainee's computer. You get to watch it in real time. You can watch it one by one, or you can watch all four screens side by side. Now they're going through right now, they're checking out their network, they're checking out their tools, checking out their system, their computer. But now, Sarah has started the attack. Same thing as in real life. You don't know when the attack is going to start. We started it. They have no idea it's happening. So this is the goals they need to accomplish. Steps one, two, three, four. A quantitative approach. This is automatically detected by our system. So when you detect the failure of the Apache services, if that's detected, it will automatically be checked off. Simple and easy. Down here, we give the qualitative feedback. This is saved for the debriefing session. You can also chat in real time to the trainees and say, give them a nudge. Hey, maybe go check your scene because there's an attack in progress. You want to see those alerts. We can give her a comment. Let's say she did a great job. Let's tell Ashley she did a great job during the debriefing session at this particular point. Type in great job. We hit save. And done. It's saved on the attack timeline. <coughs> now this session, by the way, you can see, they detected the stop cron job on the Apache server. It's been filled in. We're going to stop the training right here. Sarah, do you mind stopping the training? We're just going to get it stopped. Generally, this is a three-hour simulation where they're going to go through a lot of things that are happening as it would unfold in real life. No attack takes place in the 40 seconds that I've been talking to you. So now we get to go to the debriefing screen. In the debriefing screen, we actually get to watch playback of that video. We can sit down with the trainee one-on-one -on -one and say, hey, here's what happened. But since we don't have another three hours to spare, we can click on any point in the attack timeline and skip forward. We get to see, oh, hey, okay, what were you doing at this point? When we gave you that great comment, what did we think was such a good job that you were doing on your screen? And we get to give that qualitative level feedback that trainees need to take that jump forward. At the end of a debriefing session, we get to generate a report. That report it can either be emailed to them, it can be uploaded into your LMS, it can be printed out and handed to them. But what we want to do with the reports that are being created is track it. We don't believe you do an Apache server shutdown scenario just once. You're going to do it five, six, seven times so that we improve. And we can complicate it in different ways so that it's not the same scenario every time. <coughs> now, once our report is generated, you hand it to them, you keep track over time, and see how you how you've improved. 